I just snuck this painting into one of the world's biggest art fairs. Here's how. In order to get into Freeze London, you've got to get through three tiers of security. First up, the outer gates. These are your standard grade bouncers, trench coats and a lanyard. Light work. Once we get past them, things get a little bit more interesting. These are your tier two earpiece merchants. These Bluetooth beauties will pull you to the side if you look even remotely suspicious. Finally, we've got exhibition security checks. Here I'll have my bag searched and maybe even a pat down if I'm looking cute. Now hopefully with a fortunate blend of bone structure and white privilege, I should be fairly random security check proof. The next phase is very simple. I head to the bathroom. I position the painting in the front of my jacket, zip that baby up and try not to make eye contact with anyone on the way out. In Freeze, there are 162 different sections, each dedicated to its own gallery. The top galleries have the prime real estate. Prime real estate is where there's most exposure, but with more exposure comes increased chance of getting caught. There are plenty subtle spots I could hang this painting, away next to some small time gallery making their Freeze debut. If I'm gonna piss on someone's grass, I'm gonna do it to the biggest dog in the yard, the Gagosian. This guy owns the biggest chain of galleries across the world in places like New York, Hong Kong, Paris, the works. They are set up at the point of highest traffic in the entire fair, the entrance to Freeze London. Nowhere else sees more people passing through, and nowhere else sees such a heightened security presence. That's my wall. With the painting now in place, I'm looking for my moment, an opening, five seconds, something to buy us enough time to put that thing on the wall. It could be anything, a distraction, someone with a loud, obnoxious laugh, or wearing a dumb NFT hat. I think it's maybe take the phone with the gimbal. Yeah, yes. but a lot of people like looking for sure at us. And that's when I saw it, my opening. A freeze tour guide maneuvering a group of edgy dressed German art heads through the section. If my calculations were correct, their trajectory should see them pass directly by my wall and create a brief blind spot. Enough time for me to strike. It was now or never. It was time to say goodbye. Rip and stick, baby. Rip and stick. 